Installing the ITU maintenance kit in the Lexmark C770 and C780 series printers. We'll start by turning the printer off and removing the power cord. Open your front access cover. You'll see your toner cartridges. Remove all your toner cartridges first. Once your toner cartridges have been removed, you'll see the ICU belt that sits below the, I the uh, toner cartridges. To access the ITU, you want to open the left cover, pull that open, and there's two gray clips. Push those in, and the door will fully open. There's a lever that locks the ITU in. Flip that lever up, and pull the ITU connector. That lays down. Pull the ITU straight out. When you have your new ITU, unpack it very carefully. It's very delicate and it can be damaged very easily. If you bought the ITU maintenance kit, there will be a roller included. That's usually wrapped up on top. Again, the ITU is very delicate. Lift out the packing material. Lift and only handle the ITU by the ends or underneath. Set that aside and then unpack the wrapping material from around the belt. Again, only handle it by the sides or underneath. The belt on top can be damaged very easily. Once you have it unwrapped, there's a shipping retainer on the end that clips on. You can unclip that retainer and your belt is ready to install. There's a transfer roller located below the ITU belt that needs to be changed first. Lift that out with a flat blade screwdriver. and It's very tricky on the left side, but you have to move it forward toward the front of the printer and then use the open space to lift that out. Take the new roller, drop that in in that forward space by the white U-shaped plastic, and then move it back and drop it in. Snap it down in, and then remove the paper. And do not handle the roller at all. If it lifts out a little bit, just drop it back down in. Slide your new ITU into the printer. Snap it in. Throw down the lock lever, close your door. You can then reinstall all your toner cartridges. Once you've installed all your toner cartridges, you can go ahead and close your front access cover, power your printer up, and the procedure is complete. It will reset the count automatically.